Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Kyle Henderson and Tony Sukalas back again with the BamaInsider.com Top 40. We continue to move down to number one. Uh, today, we're talking about players ranked number 20 through number 16. And we'll just start it off with number 20, and that's Christopher Allen, a guy who's a redshirt junior, played in all 13 games. A lot is to be expected of Chris Allen, um, especially at that outside linebacker position, which he plays because Alabama needs a guy at that particular position to step up. Tony, what's your take on Chris Allen and how vital could he be for this defense this year? Yeah, I mean, look, we've talked about how much Alabama needs those pass rushers to step up, and Chris Allen's the the guy that has the most experience of the bunch. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, we, we got to see him in an extended role uh, during the Citrus Bowl when he filled in for Terrell Lewis, and I think he's really going to take on, you know, uh, I think he's basically going to he, – he's best in line to take on a starting job uh, when you look at all the pass rushers Alabama has. I know there's a lot of talented guys behind him as well, but – uh, given his experience, and and look, it, it wasn't too long ago that he was one of the best pass rushers. He had that ACL injury, kind of slowed up his momentum a little bit, but he's a guy that can really get after the quarterback, and I also think he could, you know, set the edge pretty well. So um, I'm looking for big things, and this could be a breakout year. You know, we, he's one of those guys we've been waiting to have a breakout year for a while now, so I, I think we might actually see it from him this year. Yeah, I think you're right. I think when you look at breakout players, um, especially on the defensive side of the ball, guys, we've been waiting to have breakout seasons. It could be Chris Allen, and it also could be LeBron Ray, who I assume we're going to talk about, um, you know, a couple players down. But uh, Chris Allen certainly could be that leader at the outside linebacker position, considering he has the most experience, played in 20 games uh, since his time in 2017. And as you mentioned, had that ACL in 2018, but he's back. Um, moving on to number 19, it's going to be Josh Job at the corner position. Uh, he's a junior now, six foot one, 191 pounds, played in 12 games last season, started in two games, and started off hot during the, the beginning uh, of the summertime, and then in the, the, the actual game against Duke, um, things sort of started to trend downward. Um, what, what's your take on Josh Job? Do you think he's going to be that corner, that lockdown corner that Alabama is looking forward to? I think you're definitely going to see him develop into a, a solid option at that position. He could also play the star position if they wanted him to as well, so uh, We've been talking about this throughout this whole series. Alabama has a bunch of guys that can play both the star and the cornerback position. So it'll be interesting to see how everything shakes out. Um, but yeah, Josh Job, talk about guys that, you know, had an extended role. He, he earned a start in, in the Citrus Bowl for Trayvon Diggs. So back to back guys here that, you know, kind of got a preview of them in the, in the Citrus Bowl. And he did pretty well um, in, in the Citrus Bowl. So um, I think when you have him and, and, and Sertan, Patrick Sertan, I think that those guys are probably your two most definite cornerbacks of the three cornerbacks that Alabama is going to use. And then they'll find another one, whether it be Ronald Williams or Jalen Armar Davis or somebody like that. 28 tackles last season with the interception. He's actually played in 20 six total games since arriving to, to Alabama in 2018. Um, number 18 is DJ Dell. It seems like DJ Dell's been here for such a long time. He's only going to be a sophomore, six foot three, 300 pounds, a guy who really fought his way up to get onto the field and had a monster year during his freshman campaign, um, started 10 games and recorded 17 tackles. It seems like the sky's the limit for a guy like DJ Dell. Yeah, he was a guy that was hampered by some injuries late in the season. And I think, you know, I think if you can get a full year out of him, you're really going to like what you see. Alabama has a lot of success with Birmingham defensive tackles. You know, I mean, Quinnen Williams, Deron Payne, even going back to Marcel Darius, if you're going to go, you know, earlier in, in Nick Saban's career. So maybe DJ Dale's that next guy, you know, the South Florida receivers and, and Birmingham defensive <laughs> tackles have been, you know, really kind to Alabama. I think he's got that kind of potential as a guy that, you know, can, can really – he might not put up the stats because of the position he plays, but he can be a really productive player on the line and, and really kind of be a run clogger uh, at that nose tackle position. You've had a couple stories on DJ Dell talking about his training. Um, talk about DJ Dell and that emphasis. And um, seems like he's slimmed down, been, been a little bit mobile, or at least that's what he's trending towards. Yeah, so he came in and he, he lost about 20, 25 pounds um, last offseason because uh, Alabama wants him to be that more mobile, kind of like that Quinn and Williams weight, the Deron Payne weight. Um, they don't really want a 325-pound defensive tackle because you can't really have those as much in this game, in, in, you know, in, in, in the college football game uh, of nowadays. So 
I think he, he worked his butt off to get to that level and uh, it paid off because he, you know, he started and the only reason why he didn't, you know, start all the games was he got hurt. So um, I think he's a productive guy. I think, you know, maybe having him and then, you know, Christian Barmore, I think what will happen is, uh, you know, DJ Dale could maybe take up some of the blockers and, and allow guys like Christian Barmore to really to make some plays and, and get in the backfield. And so he'll get a lot of assists, I think, on sacks where, he might not be the one in the backfield, but he's a big reason why, you know, Alabama did get a sack. Number 17 in our top 40 countdown. And of course, to read the complete top 40, go to BamiInsider.com. John Mechie, the third, um, he's a wide receiver, six foot, 195 pounds, sophomore. I mean, this guy's electric. You want to talk about a playmaker, John Mechie's your guy. I mean, I, I think a lot of people forget that he um, earned MVP honors during the A-Day. Um, there was a, another guy to do that most recently, and that was uh, Jerry Judy. So, I mean, J John Mechie is a guy that's electric, and I can't wait to see him get on the field. Um, actually from Brampton, Canada, um, talk about John Mechie and, and what you think, what, what type of season you think he's going to have this year? Yeah, I mean, crazy enough, uh, John Mechie, you know, all three of our – a lot of Alabama have, players have really good hands, and I think John Mechie might have the best hands of the group. He might not be as, like, crazy fast as, as a Waddle or a Smith, but he's got he, – he can, he can move on the field, and he can make plays, and then he can make those catches. And I think he's definitely the leader for that third receiver spot, and I think he has the potential to be a special receiver as well. He's not just the third guy – by proxy or anything like that. He's a guy that, you know, is going to probably develop into a star at the wide receiver position and kind of the next up, not only this year, but, but next year when, when Devontae Smith and, and Jalen Waddle leave for the NFL, he's probably going to be that number one receiver for Alabama. No, I, th I think you're absolutely right. I mean, John Mechie, very special player. Just wait. Just wait till you guys get to see John Mechie on the field. I mean, we've seen him some, in some practice highlights um, that we've seen and, um, of course, in some of those summer workouts that are on social media, electric type wide receiver. Um, number 16 in our top 40 countdown, um, actually going to be a true freshman. He's our highest rated true freshman, and that's Bryce Young. Six foot, 190 pounds, um, rated as a, the nation's um, – Top quarterback, the number two overall player uh, by rivals, uh, 4,500 yards, 58 touchdowns at the high school level. Bryce Young coming in with some high expectations. I think that's, if I'm not mistaken, double check on the stats, I think it's 58 passing touchdowns and he added 10 more on the ground. Yeah, I mean, it, the, the yeah, stats are so, crazy. I mean, it was a touchdown machine at the high school right. level. So, so, yeah, he's he's amazing. He's a guy that, you know, Look, he's at 16 because I think that Mac Jones is going to be the quarterback, and I have a lot of faith in Mac Jones to keep the quarterback job. If you told me that Bryce Young was going to come in and, and be the starter from day one, he'd be close to number one on this list in terms of just what he can do on a football field. You know, keep in mind, this is the most impactful player. So if Bryce Young does become the quarterback, just his skill set, his style of being a quarterback where he can just truly take over the game, both with his legs and with his arm, I think – I think, you know, he'd be up at the one spot. So when you're seeing him at 16, it has nothing to do with his talent. I mean, if we're going on talent, he'd be higher on this list than, than 16. But there's also another good quarterback on this team, and it's Mac Jones. So um, I, I, I put him here. I mean, look, look, Bryce Young's over a bunch of starters on this team. And I, I still think he's going to be impactful, though. I, I think, you know, Alabama's going to get him into games. Who knows? Maybe there might be a package. Nick Saban really hasn't done that, but he can really throw defenses, you know, off kilter by by putting in a package with Bryce Young. And that's not just running the ball or doing running plays or anything. You know, you put Bryce Young in the game and he can do different things and still pass the ball as well. So um, I'm just really interested to see how they use him. I think with a talent like that, you've got to get him on the field. And I expect Alabama to do so in, in some capacity. Uh, especially late in games, but but also maybe during you know during games as, as a change of pace kind of quarterback. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with having a high quality number two quarterback. I know a lot of people want to just see Bryce Young start right away. It's it's probably not going to happen. You have Mac Jones, and I agree with Tony. Mac Jones is a very capable quarterback, and I think in time it's going to be Bryce Young's team. And remember, during this top forty, it's the most impactful 
players that we're talking about for our top 40. I think Bryce Young is obviously someone very, very special. You look at how he distributes the football. He has a lot of zip, a lot of accuracy. I, I really am excited to see him work with these wide receivers because you look at guys that we've talked about, um, Jalen Waddle, John Mechie, Devontae Smith. Obviously, those guys are later to come in our top 40. But I think him being able to hit those wide receivers and them being able to do the rest you know, with their feet is going to be fantastic. And, and I think Sarkeesian, um, having that camaraderie with Bryce Young is only going to be um, – is going to make, make the offense that much better when everybody kind of gets into a rhythm. So Bryce Young cannot wait to see this kid spin the football. Really excited. Um, I was really excited to see him during the springtime. And then, of course, things, you know, didn't go that way. But um, from everything that we hear, from everything that we've seen, Bryce Young certainly coming in uh, with extremely high expectations and um, really, really excited to see him play. Um, thanks for watching our, our top 40. Continue to like and subscribe. We appreciate Appreciate all the feedback in the comment box. You can catch the top 40 back at BatmanInsider.com. For Alabama Crimson Tide football coverage, go to BatmanInsider.com. If you want to get behind that pesky paywall, the free 30-day promo code is simply Roll Tide. That's one word. Um, for Tony Sukalas, and my name is Kyle Henderson. We'll catch you soon at BatmanInsider.com. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you next one.